Whoa, what's going on, everybody? We're doing an actual, uh, I guess you'd call it a homemade video today. We're not going live whatsoever. Everybody's like, oh, what's the guy look like? Well, look right down here. I'm, well, I guess I gotta go more like this. <laughs> kind of all messing with this uh, fake green screen thing behind me. So you guys kind of get a good clue what I look like. My old eyes and glasses, the old beard, all that stuff. So anyhow, I've been getting a lot of questions here recently, and it's been mostly pertaining to um, how a lot of cards went way up in price and now dipped down, and I just see people unloading Zion Williamson, along with Ja Morant, and now people are buying Lucas up, but we won't even touch the Lucas subject because, yeah, he dropped about 300 bucks in price, so we'll just say off the optic PSA 10 rookies, but that's a good thing. Because now you can get them cheaper because next year, depending on how the Mavs do with free agency, who they draft, this stuff could shoot right back up during the season. All it was, was either they didn't beat the Clippers, and that was it. So prices drop down. They'll pick back up. But as far as Zion Williamson, a lot of people keep saying, oh, it's time to sell. You should have sold. Example would be, uh, I forget what the select uh, here is going for, but I know the optics were up to about 350 for a PSA 10. Now they're probably down about two and a quarter-ish, I would say, offhand. I'm just thinking about where they've been after the rises and stuff lately. So those dropped down 100 bucks. I say buy. And I mean, if you could find them in a raz and you're only spending 20 to 25 bucks a spot and you can hit one, I'd take it. Here's the thing. Zion was injured. Came back, did well. COVID happened. He left the bubble, came back to the bubble. And if you really look, they limited his playing time immensely. And if you watch, there's a couple games where he just took over. I mean, he is a good basketball player. I'm not saying he's going to be elite or anything like that. But what I am saying is I think the value is still there. Is people dipping out of the cards right now. I'll pick them up here or there if I can grab some. Um, I don't know how many I'm sitting on back here. Five Optic PSA 10s, two of these select. I think two Prism PSA 10s. I'm trying to think. Two PSA 9s. I know I got kind of hit me on top of my head, but as you guys can see, this is what I do with Orn a Day I Dip. That's what keeps me going, keeps the old extreme guy going. So, to me, it's all about, and, and the thing is, the camera's like right here in front of me, so I keep looking off to the side here because my actual screen that I'm looking at is my left. Um, I don't know why, it's just bad force of habit from being live. I just really think that, you know, basketball season's coming down to the end. You're going to see cards fall. After free agency, there's going to be a little bit of bump when the season starts. I think Zion goes out and knocks 30 points in. People start buying them again. He gets a double-double, triple-double. People start, you know, spending their money again on him. I wouldn't walk away from him. Don't walk away from Ja either. Just because, you know, they didn't do well for play and make it into playoffs and stuff too. They're good basketball players. It's not saying they're going to stick with their teams once their rookie year contract's up, you know move around and everything like that. I mean, look at Giannis, for an example. When he first came out, nobody was buying Giannis. Says I had a ton of the rookie Letterman patches uh, autoed. I think I was the most, I had a couple I saved, but I mean, I think the most I got for one might have been like two, two fifty, and that, those things now are thousands of dollars. So, be quick to unload if you don't have to. If you're like really hurt and you find a PC card, I got it. I would hold Zion's. If you have a chance to get one, I'd pick it up at a dirt cheap price right now. I mean, you, there's never telling what could happen. We're starting to dip into football season coming up here in two weekends, uh, week one. Baseball is going on now. It's Basketball's kind of that afterthought, just like hockey. They're in the playoffs. And everybody seems to forget about them until something comes in the news. Hopefully it's something good and not bad. But I would say I would uh, buy slash keep Zion right now until next season. You know, once you see the prices go up, you want to get rid of you, go for it. Buy something else. Buy a PC item. It always helps in the long run. Sorry, guys. Everybody keeps blowing my phone up, and I just talked to PSA. Um, 
had an order that's been stuck in the assembly phase for a while, for about a week, and she said that's the new norm right now. So uh, it could be a while on some of the stuff, um, about five to eight weeks to get them processed in, she told me. And, yeah. I mean, they're still doing their job. I mean, I had to wait an hour for her on the phone, but I was working too, so it was no big deal. But, yeah, for as far as Zion Williamson, yeah, I would keep her by. I wouldn't sell right now. Same with Luca. Just because they didn't win that first round of playoffs doesn't mean that, you know, hurry up and go sell. He's going to crash the market. No. Far from Luca ever crashing that market. You know what? We'll probably go. Let's look at this in two to three years down the road and see what Luca prices are now. I sold a stack when he first rose. Yeah, I could have made it probably five times that fold now. But I also kept a bunch, too. I made my money, then reinvested, and I kept a big stack just in case I needed them for later. But, yeah, guys, if it, I'm not telling you what to do. In my personal opinion, I am buying and holding. I'm not selling Zion. Not yet. He's not Greg Odom. Some people don't even know basketball season. Next Greg, Greg Odom and stuff like that out there. I doubt this. Um, maybe it wasn't Greg Odom. Who was that other guy? I can't even think of it now. There was another first-round pick that was a big bust a while back. Um, football, I always use Ryan Leaf, if anybody remembers who that is. But, yeah, I would say hold and keep them for the time being. Um, the only thing to do is they can go up. I mean, just because he's dropped probably, you know, that's about 33% on his value right now. This is the time to start looking at stuff being like, well, Zion, I everybody else now is chasing all these other cards. I'm going to pick a Zion up. Now, I mean, just for example, I have a couple, I think we have one Zion coming in. I'm just looking at my screen in front of me now. You know, occasionally I get in Raz, just pick stuff up. Um, some stuff I keep for a while, some stuff I don't. Some, you know, after a while, I'm just like, it's ain't going nowhere. And usually those are ones about a month later, boom, start skyrocketing. But, yeah, I'm just curious. What do you guys think? Are you guys holding? If you have Zion, you can hold. You selling them, getting rid of them. I'm always curious about stuff like this, and I think this is going to be a nice little uh, try to do a weekly series uh, on stuff like this here. Should you buy or sell on somebody? You know, maybe we'll look at baseball next. Dip into a little bit of football. You know, just because somebody's a bad game, yeah, their cards drop. Next thing you know, three games. They're solid. Stuff rises again. Just stock market. It's going to go up and down, up and down. you got to catch it when it starts going up and hitting that big peak level. And then you're going to see it bounce down a little bit. It's going to stabilize until something else happens and it'll start rising up again. So always pay attention. I mean, I brought up about Mitch Trubisky. $40 for a freaking PSA 10 Silver Prism rookie. Now they're $200. That's five times your money. Some people are like, well, you spent 40 and only made 200 Well, yeah, I made 160 bucks, but I bought seven of them. So when you take that into consideration, it's, you know, it's a good investment. There wasn't much I could really lose off of it at all either with it. So same with uh, Ben Simmons. I bought into his studios and mosaics. Another one, too. I can't think of the top of my head. Oh, um, Optic. All dirt cheap, and they all either doubled, tripled in price already. So, except for Studio. Studio only went up a couple bucks. But as far as the Optic and the uh, Mosaic, when I bought them, they're at least double, almost triple in price. Studio, I just like the look of it. It's not going to be a high-end product. It's going to shoot way up in, you know, in the future and stuff like that. It might go from $80 to $200, but I just like the look of it. But, yeah. Guys, if you guys have something else you guys ever want me to just, I guess you can say, give a blast out on what I think on something, I have no problem uh, doing a video up like this. We could sit there. I, I was going to come live, and I was like, ah, if we come live, it's, you know, early in the day and stuff like that. Won't get a whole lot of people on and stuff like that. So, again, you guys stay safe out there. Um, coming up on Labor Day weekend here. I took four days off from work. Well, one's a federal holiday, so I'm going to get a little bit of rest in for a change. Uh, see you guys later this week. Sometime with, uh, uh, was it Stadium Club Baseball? I do have an extra box, so I will push that out if somebody wants it. 
We'll open up some Donruss football, and I'll pick something else up. I gotta give the distributor a call here this evening so you can place my order through for tomorrow. They're just slammed today. Slam Monday meetings. You guys know how that stuff goes. But other than that, if you guys try catching me during the work week um, from like seven in the morning until about four in the afternoon, I don't respond. A lot of times we have meetings, and it's just kind of hard to get back there. But I usually start doing it right about four as I'm getting ready to. Uh, figure out what's for dinner that night and stuff, start answering emails, stuff like that there, text, me Facebook messages, Instagram, whatever else there is out there. So otherwise, I do appreciate everybody always stopping by, um, commenting the videos, liking on the videos. I'm going to start working here. we got about three weeks until the, uh, I guess we'll call them the extreme uh, hit boxes or something come out. There will be a bunch of packs in the box of hobby packs, no retail. Unless if it was retail, it would be something like Prism Basketball or something. But we're going to stick, I think, with baseball with the first one. I'm only going to make so many up. And then I'm going to make Extreme Redemption cards to go into it. So there might be one, might be two or three. You can have them open live or you can have them shipped to you. You can open them up for a video, whatever you want. Always cool to watch other people's videos of uh, stuff like me and stuff like that. We've been having some hot hands on some stuff, so we'll see what goes on. But other than that, everybody, stay safe out there. I will see you guys later on this week. We'll do some box openings and see what else we can come up with. All right. Take care.